Now, destructive testing and evaluation is the science and engineering of testing, inspecting, and evaluating properties of an object or a structure without affecting its functionality. Application of microwave and millimeter wave signals for this purpose has been the subject of ongoing R&D for more than two decades. Microwave and millimeter wave non-destructive testing and evaluation techniques have certain unique advantages when used for inspecting a wide range of electrically non-conducting materials and composite structures. High resolution, real-time, and portable imaging systems have been sought for many years and for many such applications. This short video presents the results of a recent effort for developing such an imaging system or camera operating in the microwave frequency range. This is the collector of the camera. It consists of 576 resonance slots operating at 24 gigahertz, 24 by 24 uh, array of slots. These slots are switched very rapidly in such a way that a scattered field, magnitude and phase over the retina can be detected, collected, processed, and displayed at speeds of up to 30 images per second. The camera is now operating in the transmission mode. There is a transmitter that transmits a wave over the collector and an object can be placed in front of it. The collector detects the scattered field from the object over the 576 uh, locations and then the entire detector coherent detection system, as you see, is in the back, hence rendering the entire system quite portable. The entire operation of this system can be run by a laptop-sized battery, as you can see here, up to five hours of operation. Here we have the DAC card and the computer that not only collects the signal, but also displays it. Right now, an open-ended waveguide is transmitting a, a wave over the collector aperture. We will collect the magnitude, relative magnitude and phase, and we are also have the capability to focus the plane real time, if we wish, backwards in this way so that we can focus at different areas. Right now, we have a, an incident signal being transmitted from an open-ended waveguide over the collector uh, area. This window is the relative magnitude of the collected signal from the open-ended waveguide, and this is the collected uh, phase of the signal over the retina. This window here actually is used for focusing to display when we focus the plane at a particular object. For example, as this cursor moves to the right, we are focusing the plane essentially further out from the collector. And as you can see right now, we are moving back here, so we are focused right at the transmitter, which is an open-ended waveguide, and we see what we expect to see. To demonstrate the real-time and focusing features of the camera, we made a sample made out of two quarter-inch thick pieces of balsa wood. Balsa wood is generally transparent to microwave signals. These two pieces are glued together, and in the center, right here, we have a thin piece of rubber, about quarter inch in diameter. I will place that in front of the collector. The distance from the collector is roughly around four centimeters. The left two windows are raw magnitude and phase distribution detected and collected by the collector. The top right is actually the focused image. Now when we move the cursor away from the collector and get closer to the target, we actually end up focusing the system right on the rubber piece, as you can see, right there. And I can also move this, and you can see as I move the target, you can see it in real time. You can actually see my hand on the top portion of it. And if the focus location is fixed, I can move back and forth to find the location of the target, like that. To show another practical application, this is 
a one inch thick honeycomb with two thin skin layers now like for instance a radon in one of the cells using a syringe we uh, inserted about half a cc of water of course microwaves are supposed to detect water quite nicely if I put that in front of our camera you can actually see the water droplet in the raw data and of course we can also focus on it as you can see right there another feature of this camera is that we can actually take a snapshot picture for instance now and I can move the sample back and offline do my imaging I go back and do the imaging offline just like that and the lower right hand window of course is uh, different types of filtering that we can apply to show another feature of this system and that is to get some qualitative depth information we have made a new sample made out of four half an inch thick pieces of foam and in the front we have three small pieces of rubber very thin that are embedded in the surface and then an inch deeper in this layer we have three more and half an inch deeper we have three more so I'm going to put this in front of the system and we're going to look at the image and focus backwards right now we are right at the collector if you look at the top right window where is the focused image we move back right there those are the three that I showed you on the surface we move in inside about an inch deeper you see the other three and we move about half an inch deeper you see the last three and if you move further out everything goes away as you can imagine there are many applications for a system of this sort since this is this is a, a real-time imaging system for instance here I have a plastic box and in it I have a pair of scissors that we've taped there we just wanted to demonstrate that you can also see that and I'll put that right in front of the system and we can focus down on it now we can focus and you will see the pair of scissors very nicely there and I can move back and forth there we have it focused and nice where are we going with this in the future? Number one thing that is going to happen is the fact that this system will become monostatic in such a way that the transmitter receiver all is on one side. So you don't have to put something in front of uh, uh, the collector or the camera. You can move this about and look at whatever you want. We're going to use uh, FPGA to do a lot of the signal collecting and analysis here to speed up the process and remove some of the hardware that we already have. Uh, further down the road when we do this uh, on a wideband basis we will also be able to do 3D or holographical uh, images. In summary and as evidenced by what we have shown here this type of real-time portable microwave camera system can address the needs in many different types of environments including inspection of a varieties of composite materials used in aerospace, transportation, infrastructure, biomedical applications, security, skin cancer detection, and many other applications to come.